Video games have a problem, and that problem is pixels. No matter how big your monitor is, it is just a finite grid of pixels where each can only represent one colour. So what happens when your graphics card tries to render something to this grid? Well, let's look at the humble triangle, the building block for all rendered entities. This triangle goes through a complex series of stages on the graphics card to ensure it ends up at the right place on the screen and with the right colour. Finally, the graphics card paints the triangle to the pixels. In the simple case, any pixel entirely within the triangle will get painted. But what about those on the edges? Only pixels where the centre falls within the triangle is considered part of the shape. You therefore end up with these jagged edges where some pixels are considered part of the shape and others are not. This is known as aliasing. So if aliasing is the problem, then anti-aliasing is the solution. This attempts to set the pixels along the edge to a colour that is a blend between the foreground and background, therefore giving a smoother and more pleasing image. Like most things in game dev, this problem is easy to explain but tough to solve. In fact, there's a whole host of possible solutions. So let's dive in. I'm going to use my own engine to explain some of these, and here I have a sample scene which showcases some aliasing. The simplest technique is super sampling anti-aliasing, or SSAA. This simply renders the whole scene at 2, 4 or 8 times the required size, and then scales it down to the size of the render window. When you downsample, your graphics card can apply a filter which mixes the colours of neighbouring pixels, therefore smoothing out any jagged edges. The disadvantage of this is that it requires you to render your game at a much higher resolution than you actually need, which has an impact on performance. Even doing a 2x SSAA at 1080p requires you to render the whole game at 4K, but you still only end up with a 1080p resolution. The evolution of this technique is multi-sampling anti-aliasing, or MSAA. Here we take multiple samples per pixel and blend them together to get a smoother edge. This technique is provided by your graphics API, OpenGL, Metal, DirectX. To use MSAA, you have to opt in with your graphics API, but your graphics API knows where the edges are in your scene, so it can just apply the multi-sampling to areas likely to experience aliasing. This makes it more efficient than SSAA. Another technique is the Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing, or FXAA. This requires no specific support from your graphics API and is purely a post-processing effect. With FXAA, you take the final rendered image with the jaggies but without the HUD or any elements you don't want smoothed. You then detect areas of high contrast, i.e. dark on one side and light on the other. This will usually signify an edge where aliasing can occur. You then blur along these lines to generate a smoother image. FXAA is relatively simple, fast and accurate, which makes it ideal for games wanting to run at maximum FPS. There's also temporal anti-aliasing, or TAA, which accumulates information across multiple frames and motion information to generate a smoother image. However, in the extreme case, this can introduce more artifacts, such as ghosting. There's even a subreddit for people who do not care for TAA. And on the proprietary side, you have Deep Learning Super Sampling, or DLSS. This has been developed by NVIDIA and uses AI to upscale and smooth out rendered images. This is an ever-evolving field, and new techniques are bound to be developed in the future, always seeking to strike a balance between performance and accuracy. If you found this useful, then consider subscribing. However, if you want to see how it's possible to make a game engine in 48 hours, check out this next video.